Well, we are piloting out a floating cattail island in the town of Lorette. Floating cattail islands have been proven and there's research behind them that uh, they really help to clean the water. So increasing water quality and provide um, like a, a haven of nutrients basically on the floating island. So the, the other important thing is it's, it's not just about the plants. Uh, the plants actually only do about 20% of the water quality treatment. What the plants do is they'll, they'll produce roots and they'll grow down through the island into the water. So it's the surface, the whole surface area of the roots and it's the surface area of the island itself. It provides all that, that area for microbes, bacteria, all the, all the slimy stuff that grows on there. And that's actually doing 80% of the, of the nutrient treatment. It also shows, um, I guess it's a showcase piece for anything else that we'd like to do to clean water in stormwater ponds, um, dugouts for you know farmers or water retention projects that we have, or even municipal lagoons. So it can be, really be applied in a diverse way across our district. Um, we wanted to figure out if this is something that we can do in southeastern Manitoba. We're, we're always here to try new things to keep our water clean and when we think about partnerships and how many people it took the International Institute for Sustainable Development the experimental lake areas the RM Attaché the town of Lorette and the Seine River Conservation District I mean it's amazing what we can do when we all work together to work for clean water and a healthy tomorrow <laughs>